Let's go snowmobiling with Snow Trails TV. Ride with us four days when the Iowa State Snowmobile Association hosts Snow Trails TV in our nation's heartland. And later this episode, join Darkside Adventures Tour riding across Quebec with highlights from the Laurentians, Quebec City, the St. Lawrence Seaway, ending with a spectacular Percy Rock in the Gas Bay, traveling 14 days and almost 2,000 miles. Snow Trails TV spent a week exploring the farming heartland of America, riding with members of the Iowa State Snowmobile Association. They did a great job telling us about the snowmobiling recreational opportunities and are very enthusiastic to share their fun. Well, there, in the state of Iowa, there's over 5,000 miles that are groomed. Uh, our trail system can interconnects two rivers, two lakes, and over 200 miles of trails that all interconnect. You could go see bald eagles, you can go down the rivers, you can go down the lakes, uh, you could stop in local towns, have, have something to eat, get your fuel and be on your way. I've been snowmobiling in Iowa since 1968, been involved in the sport all my life and I joined the club just to, just to promote our sport, uh, be active in a sport that I love and, and uh, I like riding in Iowa because of all the uh, varied train. I like I like river. I like you know soft ditches. I like groomed trails, uh, pasture, um, timber. I just I like to ride uh, a little bit of everything in Iowa. And when it's cold and blizzarding out and everybody's complaining, I like to get out in it and have fun. You know, go around, see what's happening, and and uh, it's a, a fun sport. I mean friends, family. We're trying to raise awareness, um, increase popularity, show them that, you know, snowmobiles are, are good for the um, uh, economic growth and viability. At the same time, we're not bad for the environment. It's a fun winter activity that all can enjoy. Small towns in Iowa are, are pretty lonely and, and uh, it's brought a lot of people into town. Uh, I gave a, a lady a ride that was, uh, uh, had terminal cancer and she had a bucket list and uh, she'd never rode a snowmobile and I was contacted. And we gave her a two hour ride down the river and saw bald eagles and, and uh, she said it surpassed anything she thought it would be and, and uh, it was really rewarding to do that. We're here in Four City at the Lodge Hotel, and it, it's centrally located in the Four City area among a lot of recreation. We've got the golf course, we're looking over right there, and we've got, uh, on the golf course, they've also got uh, some brand new cross-country ski trails uh, in both styles of cross-country ski, and they uh, also have disc golf in, at the city park next to the golf course. We have the snowmobile trail on the other side here that connects to it. The Iowa State Snowmobile Association coordinates the efforts of the snowmobile clubs across the state of Iowa with the Iowa DNR, providing snow grooming equipment, signs, fuel, maintenance, and support to maintain the more than 5,000 miles of trails in Iowa. In addition, the Iowa State Snowmobile Association has a proven track record with the Iowa legislation through grassroots efforts and protecting the interest of snowmobiling in Iowa. trails weekly. Um, our trails are groomed very, very nice, very smooth. Um, cautions, stop aheads, everything's marked very well. We have probably around eight miles of trails and we have, they can uh, snowmobile on the horse trails and on the roads and we have uh, uh, shared, share the road use on two miles two mile section of in the park. We do have 
a public hunting area that's north of the park, that's 130 acres. You can't hunt in any state park in Iowa. So that is only the only place you can hunt. It's a pilot knob recreation area that you can hunt in. Uh, there are trails through there, so I always tell people that if they're gonna be out there during hunting season, to make sure that they have blaze orange or something bright. Um, the fishing opportunities that you have here at the park, we do have uh, ice fishing. Um, it's a 15-acre park that people can go ahead and, and fish on. Uh, there's bass and bluegill. And they have been catching some bluegill this winter. For snowmobiling in this park, it's an excellent park for snowmobiling. We hold the snow very well. Uh, there's very few places that get the wind, um, and it's beautiful. Coming up next, more snowmobiling in our nation's heartland. Closed captioning is provided by the International Snowmobile Congress. Snow Trails TV is proud to be sponsored by the New York State Snowmobile Association, dedicated to improving our sport. Diva Snow Gear is your source for women's snowmobile apparel, gear, and accessories. Diva Snow Gear was created for women, by women, and offers an attractive yet functional alternative to your standard snowmobile gear for women. With our feminine, slim, and sleek design, we'll keep you looking fabulous while staying warm and dry. Get yours today at www.divasnowgear.com or check with your local dealer. r, &R Trailers is the quality manufacturer of custom-built aluminum snowmobile, ATV, car, and recreational utility trailers. r, &R Trailers are lighter weight than comparable steel trailers and will never rust. R&R Trailers has manufacturer direct pricing and factory direct sales to give you the lowest possible trailer price when you shop the bottom line. Call now or visit online rnrtrailers.com to learn more about your next recreational sport utility trailer. The American Council of Snowmobile Associations wants to remind and invite all snowmobilers to become members of their state snowmobile association. Being a member of your state snowmobile association is important to secure the future and growth of organized snowmobiling. Without your state snowmobile association, your rights to access trails could easily disappear. To support organized snowmobiling, visit snowmobilers.org for your state association's contact information. Let Marine Specialists make sure your snowmobile is ready for a trouble-free snowmobile season. Expert snowmobilers that service all brands of snowmobiles, new and old. They carry OEM and all aftermarket parts you need. They live snowmobiles and do everything from high facts to engine rebuilds. If you're looking for excitement at the next level, join the professionals at Dark Side Adventures for their specialized tours and trips. They can help you experience the snowmobile trip of a lifetime. Check out our new line of custom-built snowmobile trailers by Magnum. Marine Specialists, your touring and performance headquarters. The New York State Snowmobile Association wants to invite everybody to have safe family fun this winter and go snowmobiling. Being a member of a snowmobile club will save you money. Pay just $45 for your New York State snowmobile registration. Being a snowmobile club member, there are many member benefits and partnership discount programs available that will help you get the most out of your recreational dollar. Visit the New York State Snowmobile Association website for information about how to find a local snowmobile club that will gladly help introduce you to snowmobiling. Snow Trails TV is sponsored by Old Forge New York in the Adirondack Mountains. We invite you to come to Old Forge New York. Snow Trails TV is also sponsored by r, r Trailer, factory direct custom aluminum trailers to haul all your toys. Snow Trails TV is sponsored by Hildebrand Sea Dew Clinic, offering 50 years of service for personal watercraft and snowmobile engines. Hauling you and your toys, Mom's Motorsports offers group snowmobile, ATV, motorcycle transportation packages to anywhere in the U.S. Mom said, go out and play. Also sponsoring Snow Trails TV, Legend ZX Series Extreme Motorsports Lubricants. Tomorrow's lubricant technology today. Hi, I'm Video Mike and welcome to Snow Trails TV in Iowa. This is our third day touring Iowa and we're in Mitchell County. We're going to be riding with the Mitchell County Easy Riders. They're going to take us on a little tour of the area so that if you want to go snowmobiling, you'll know how to do it and where to go. Let's go have some fun on Snow Trails TV here in Mitchell County, Iowa. We're in Osage right now. We're going to head out over to Mitchell, look at a dam, take the river up into St. Ansker, buzz through St. Ansker, follow the trail into Stacyville, 
Stasol, we're going to head out, look at some wind turbines, stop at a bridge that we built for the club, swing through the woods there, visit a log cabin that was built in Pinnacare Alder, head into McIntyre, end our trip in Howard County. You can get on a trail and, and go from town to town. You can hop on the trail. You can ride 30, 40, 50 miles at one shot. Just a wide open area. Uh, we're here in Iowa and I'm not sure how they figured out this is the place to put the sign in the middle of all these beautiful lands and what I think in the summertime is cornfields. They tell me Leroy, Minnesota, four miles that way. Gives you a little idea where we're at. Riceville, where we're headed to for today's end journey, seven miles that way. It's a beautiful day here on Snow Trails TV in Iowa. With very little trees and wide open fields, we had a lot of fun ripping through the snow. We learned that on the wide open farm trails, there is no speed limit. I'm Video Mike with Snow Trails TV and we're in Iowa here giving you a familiarization with the area. I'm with Jim Wiley, who's the Vice President of the Iowa State Snowmobile Association. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to do today, Jim. Mike, we're going to ride up on the Snow Pioneers Trail System through Delaware County to Backbone State Park, the first state park that was established in Iowa. We're going to see some beautiful bluff country, uh, ride some great groomed trails, uh, groomed by the, uh, the Snow Pioneers uh, Club, and see some great scenery along the way. Excellent. Well, let's go have a good time here, snowmobiling in Iowa. Get out and go snowmobiling. The Bluebird Loop's probably about a mile, mile and a half uh, loop, I would say, maybe a little more than that, but uh, a nice, nice uh, loop right through, uh, uh, takes you right around uh, a full circle loop to uh, go to the other side of the park and then back to uh, the main trails of the Backbone State Park uh, that go through the, uh, the groomed trails. Uh, that go three different ways out of the park. Snowmobiling in Iowa can be challenging. Sometimes your trails will change from year to year. Uh, as a farmer rotates crops, he may let you in. One time you may be riding down through a ditch next year across the field, uh, through the woods. Uh, a lot of times in the woods you can't change where the trees are. You have to go around them and the trails can get quite challenging. We, we'd like to extend an invitation to folks from all across Iowa and, and anyone uh, who travels to Iowa to come and go snowmobiling with us. We have a program it's called Take a Friend Snowmobiling, and we mean it. We want people to come and enjoy our sport with us. Uh, we, uh, we are a fun-loving bunch, and we certainly uh, want to share that, that fun with others. You can reach us by going on the web to the, uh, I, the Snow Pioneers website, uh, www.snowpioneers.com or to the Iowa State Snowmobile Association website, which is the www.iowasnowmobiler.com, and uh, link to the Snow Pioneers through the State Association or look, do a search directly, and you'll find us. Uh, we have a snowmobile site that has trail conditions that talks about what, uh, what events are going on, um, and there it provides phone numbers if you'd like to talk to somebody directly to learn more about snowmobiling in Iowa. We have actually seen a lot of young people get involved in the sport within the last two years in our own club. Uh, there are more people riding sleds, I think, than ever was before. Uh, we try to let them be involved. We actually developed a new style bridge this year, and there was the young ones who were involved in developing it, building it, and this year we're trying it, and so far it's been real good. They took a hold of that chance and went right after it. I was pleasantly surprised by the abundance of wildlife. It could be a deer hunter's paradise with many herds to be found. And we've never seen so many bald eagles and actually be close enough to get this video of our national bird. Snow Trails TV will be right back after this word from our sponsors. Snow Trails TV is proud to be sponsored by the New York State Snowmobile Association, dedicated to improving our sport. In the Native American language of Shoshone, the word Togety means, from here you go anywhere. Come to Togety Mountain Lodge. The New York State Snowmobile Association wants to invite everybody to have safe family fun this winter and go snowmobiling. Being a member of a snowmobile club will save you money. Pay just $45 for your New York State snowmobile registration. 
Being a Snowmobile Club member, there are many member benefits and partnership discount programs available that will help you get the most out of your recreational dollar. Visit the New York State Snowmobile Association website for information about how to find a local snowmobile club that will gladly help introduce you to snowmobiling. Doobie Groomers create smooth, wide, flat trails, and that is what snowmobilers want. Doobie Groomers are engineered and designed to roll the snow and keep the snow on the trail, not to drag the snow or pile it on the side. Doobie Groomers are created and tested in the heart of Michigan's winter snow belt, American-made right here in Gaylord, Michigan, built to go the distance and come back for more. Contact DoobieGroomers.com and get the best snowmobile trails man can make. The Iowa DNR supports snowmobiling and provides snow grooming equipment, signs, fuel, maintenance, and support to maintain the more than 5,000 miles of snowmobile trails in Iowa. The Iowa State Snowmobile Association coordinates the efforts of the snowmobiling clubs across the state of Iowa and works with the Iowa DNR and legislation protecting the interests of snowmobiling in Iowa. You can help support this effort by having a valid Iowa snowmobile trail permit and joining the Iowa State Snowmobile Association. In the northwest corner of Wyoming, buttressed by the Continental Divide and the Grand Teton Mountain Range, snow falls into chest deep powder on 2.5 million acres of varied mountain terrain, and Togarty Mountain Lodge is base camp. Throw powder over your hood with over 600 inches of annual snowfall, or cruise over 600 miles on groomed snowmobile trails, winding their way through the pine and aspen forests. Wyoming is stunning snowmobile country. In the heart of the Adirondack Mountains, Old Forge, New York is the place for family fun and snowmobiling. Old Forge's trail system connects with all major snowmobile trail systems in central and upstate New York. If you want to explore, find the deep powder and get off the trail, we have that too. After the ride, there are plenty of shops, food, and fun in historic Old Forge to accommodate any taste. Come visit Old Forge, New York in the Adirondack Mountains. My name is Ed Clem. I'm president of the International Snowmobile Manufacturers Association. I'm pleased to let you know that snowmobiling is a growing, fun family sport worldwide. Research shows us that the vast majority of people want to recreate outdoors in the winter, and the majority of those want to go snowmobiling. As a matter of fact, the same research shows that on a scale of 1 to 10, most interested folks rate snowmobiling interest as a nine. When asked why people go snowmobiling, the same four answers come up every time. Number one is to be with family and friends. Number two, to enjoy great, beautiful scenery. Three, to enjoy the great outdoors. Number four, to do something challenging, a little different. The snowmobiling community is pleased to announce the third annual Take a Friend snowmobiling campaign. It will be held this February. All snowmobilers are invited to go snowmobiling at the state or county level. Just contact a snowmobiling friend or a dealer to participate. For the last couple of years, I've done extended tours in Quebec with the Dark Side Adventures crew from Michigan. These are not always the normal, predictable snowmobile trips, but they always end up being a whole lot of fun. This is the beginning of 14 days and almost 2,000 miles riding from the western edge of Quebec, starting in the abitibi Temiskaming region, and traveling through the central interior called the Bush because of its rural topography. We will visit the Ice Hotel in Quebec City and end the trip in the majestic Gaspé Peninsula. It's been absolutely a perfect day here riding in Quebec. We're near the end of our third day. We're about seven miles from Perrant. We had to stop here and just check out the sunset over this beautiful mountain river. It's been a beautiful 40 miles through the forest here of uh, Canadian National Park. 40 miles, nice benders. Been able to open it up a little bit, make some good time. While any trail or off-trail experience offers the fun of snowmobiling, and all are a great place to ride. I found the after the trail experience in Quebec is unique to itself. The cultural ambience and hospitality is always a favorable memory. We spent a couple of days in Mount Laurier, which is hosting the 2012 Dark Side Adventure trip. Lots of friendly lodge providers in the area with a week of easy touring to be found here. Visit our featured destinations page on snowtrailstv.com for a past video tour of Mount Laurier.
it's a great day. It's not too cold. It uh, was below zero this morning, but uh, I think that workout we just had getting through the woods there was quite a deal. So we're all warmed up. We got 27 clicks or less to go till we get to the 350 trail. Our eighth day and a thousand miles into the trip, we are coming into Quebec City. I am always amazed at the variety and the ingenuity of the bridge builders. We stayed at the Four Point Sheridan, which is the new home of the Ice Hotel. This year, every year, okay, the, uh, the theme of the uh, Ice Hotel are changed. Okay, this year is what we call biodiversity. This 32,000 square foot hotel, constructed with 15,000 tons of snow and 500,000 tons of ice, is a tourist hotspot. Day tours are available like this, or one can take the option for the overnight experience. You can visit www.icehotel-canada.com to learn more. And this is one of the suites with a fireplace. We have four of them. A real it's, fireplace? Yes, it's a real fireplace. And it is very uh, practical because in every room I have lights and the switch is in the bed. So you don't have to get up at least to turn off the lights. <laughs> Another three days on the trails, lots of bridges and rivers, then 440 miles later, we arrive in Bay Camus, but too late to catch the last 5 p.m. ferry ride we scheduled. We rent a bus and shuttle our sleds to Gut Bout. Why did I never got to ride a long bus like this? We always had to ride a short bus. We're having fun today. To catch the ferry boat the next day, which will take us about two hours across the St. Lawrence Seaway and arrive in Matan, the last leg of our adventure in the Gas Bay. This was a first for me loading 20 snowmobiles onto the ferry boat. And this wasn't just a little puddle jumper boat. It was huge, with semi trucks offloading and lots of cars. This was our 11th day on the Dark Side Adventure, and every day seemed to get better. Arriving in Matan, we will be spending the last three days snowmobiling around the outer sides of the Gas Bay region, enjoying the true spirit of French-Canadian hospitality with the awe-inspiring views, trails, and the famous Percy Rock. A few years ago, Snow Trails TV did a week-long expedition in the Gas Bay, and it was truly breathtaking with daily elevation changes on sleds of over 20,000 feet a day but never going more than 2,000 feet up and then back down to the sea level communities. For those snowmobilers who seek adventure and want to try something different, the Gas Bay is one destination to put on the bucket list. Snow Trails TV has feature length DVDs available from a variety of the Quebec regions the Dark Side Adventures trip passed through. Stop by SnowTrailsTV.com and find your next snowmobile adventure. I'm Video Mike with Snow Trails TV, and remember, snowmobilers, there is no center line, the right side is mine. We hope to see you on the trails. In the heart of the Adirondack Mountains, Old Forge, New York, is the place for family fun and snowmobiling. Old Forge's trail system connects with all major snowmobile trail systems in central and upstate New York. If you want to explore, find the deep powder and get off the trail, we have that too. After the ride, there are plenty of shops, food, and fun in historic Old Forge to accommodate any taste. Come visit Old Forge, New York in the Adirondack Mountains. r, &R Trailers is the quality manufacturer of custom-built aluminum snowmobile, ATV, car, and recreational utility trailers. r, &R Trailers are lighter weight than comparable steel trailers and will never rust. R&R Trailers has manufacturer direct pricing and factory direct sales to give you the lowest possible trailer price when you shop the bottom line. Call now or visit online rnrtrailers.com to learn more about your next recreational sport utility trailer.
The American Council of Snowmobile Associations wants to remind and invite all snowmobilers to become members of their state snowmobile association. Being a member of your state snowmobile association is important to secure the future and growth of organized snowmobiling. Without your state snowmobile association, your rights to access trails could easily disappear. To support organized snowmobiling, visit snowmobilers.org for your state association's contact information. In the northwest corner of Wyoming, buttressed by the Continental Divide and the Grand Teton Mountain Range, snow falls into chest deep powder on 2.5 million acres of varied mountain terrain, and Togarty Mountain Lodge is base camp. Throw powder over your hood with over 600 inches of annual snowfall, or cruise over 600 miles on groomed snowmobile trails, winding their way through the pine and aspen forests. Wyoming is stunning snowmobile country. Diva Snow Gear is your source for women's snowmobile apparel, gear, and accessories. Diva Snow Gear was created for women, by women, and offers an attractive yet functional alternative to your standard snowmobile gear for women. With our feminine, slim, and sleek design, we'll keep you looking fabulous while staying warm and dry. Get yours today at www.divasnowgear.com or check with your local dealer. Snow Trails TV is proud to be sponsored by Nelson's Speed Shop. Located in Greenville, Michigan, Nelson's Speed Shop has it all. Snow Trails TV is also sponsored by the American Council of Snowmobile Associations. AXA is your voice for snowmobiling on national issues. The American Council of Snowmobile Associations, AXA, is a national organization that was formed to unite the snowmobile community. Because snowmobiling is enjoyed by millions across the United States, it was imperative that a strong national organization be formed. AXA is your voice for snowmobiling on national issues. Many snowmobilers are mistaken when they think national issues have no impact on them. Across the United States, there are thousands and thousands of miles of snowmobile trails on public and private lands. Long-term use of these lands is no longer certain. Only the unified voice of the entire snowmobile community will help to guarantee the continuation of our sport. We cannot do this without the help and participation of all snowmobilers. Assure the future of snowmobiling. Become a member of your state snowmobile association and help AXA unify snowmobiling today. We're looking forward to seeing you on the trails this winter and hope you'll take a friend snowmobiling. Visit SnowTrailsTV.com for more great snowmobiling video and informational links about organized snowmobiling. Snow Trails TV is looking for new destinations to shoot this winter and welcomes your suggestions and ideas. I'm Video Mike, reminding snowmobilers, there is no center line and the right side is mine. Help keep the peace on the trails. <laughs>